Today, we are taking you guys with us to the most expensive hotel in Ghana. I just did the research now. It is still the highest rank in stars, highest rank in price, highest ranked hotel, and actually, I'm pretty sure the whole of Ghana. So I'm super, super excited to take you guys with us. As you can see, we all dressed up, got a nice shirt on, got some dress shorts, and then just my loafers, my maroon loafers that I absolutely love. Hope you guys like this video. If you're new yet, my name is Callum Wesley. Welcome to all the new subscribers. Hit that subscribe button. Hit the like button and let's go to the hotel. As soon as you go through security, this is what you face with as soon as you enter. On the left is reception, then on the right is like a conference area and a sitting area and then the courtyard in front. But as you can see from all the detail, it is absolutely incredible. They have a really cool piece of art on the wall here. Then you can see all the different things they have going on here. Down here is more restaurants, art gallery. And then you look through here, you can get another peep of the outside sitting area and restaurants and the courtyard and then you can kind of get a peep of the rooms through there and then just this side is the check-in desks they have some displays of pandora the jewelry there and these are really cool staircase all the way up there some more art and then down there's more conference rooms down the stairs and up the stairs for events and just everything is like you can just see by the finishes and everything here it's why it gets its reputation and why it is so expensive because it is just a max. This is the first glimpse of the outside area you get. A bar down there. You see the whole of Accra in the background. A flow room pool. And then the change rooms and everything is down there where we're going now. And then I'll show you guys them also. This is what you're greeted with as soon as you enter the men's bathroom. Some artwork. Walk down the passage. Some more artwork down there some towels, place to throw your towels a lot of lockers, there's normally not stuff lying on the ground I'm not too sure why it is like that today you have a couple showers, I think there's five there some more lockers, some places just to sit your bathroom, everything, you get your hand lotion, all that your shower caps, your toothbrushes and everything like that and then just a whole bunch of urinals I always say you judge a home on its kitchen and you judge a hotel on its bathrooms. These bathrooms are amazing. If we just take a look inside, they normally have slippers. It doesn't seem like there are any slippers today, probably because there's so many people here, they've really all been used up. Yeah, but anyway, it's a beautiful place. I'm gonna throw the baggies on, swim shorts on, and I'm gonna go jump in the pool. I ended up finding a pair of the Kapinski slippers and I also found a scale. I haven't stepped on the scale in about three months, so I thought. Why not step on with you guys if it even works and see what I'm weighing? Mm, around about 94.95. So about where I'll be, but yeah, let's get back in. Gym on that side, and then this side they just have a couple outside showers. And I haven't that been down here before, so I'm not too sure what is here, but you got the Ghana Soccer Stadium down there and just the back end of the hotel. But this is my swimming attire, got the polo shirt on that matches the rocker and polo pants and the slippers I found. You can see it's a little bit overcast but all in all beautiful day. This is mine and Kayla's spot for the next couple hours. They're busy bringing us some water now but you can get a vague idea of what the hotel looks there. I've never stayed here, my family has stayed at this one before. Get a glimpse of the flow room pool and the very very overcast sky in the, in the background. And then here when you sit down they do obviously your your lounger for you, they serve you with an ice cold balakwa water and then a nice freezing card towel that you can wipe your hands face with and just really relax. This is the menu they give you by the pool so I thought I'd just flick through to show you guys and you can see all the prices on CDs, pretty damn expensive. They got some salads, some quick bites, sandwiches and burgers. What else do they have here? Some more sandwiches and burgers some main dishes and then obviously to end off dessert they also have a drinks menu i'll grab and show you guys over here but it's pretty much all the the premium whiskies and scotches and everything you would expect to find here but also i'm pretty sure this is price per shot you have so also obviously it's going to be very expensive because of being at the Kapinski and just the environment and everything but it's it's lovely here 
I put my sun cream on because I was getting burned. Kayla didn't need any and I'm sitting under the umbrella. It's just some of the, the little things that the top hotels do that just make it so much more worthwhile and makes you want to come back. And one of the things is they gave us complimentary drinks, sitting by the pool, it's a hot day, we asked to see the menu. It wasn't anything we were really too thrilled on, they brought us some complimentary drinks. So just see the little things add up over time and they make a difference. That's really nice. I love the taste of ginger, it's just like a tax your throat. I'm not going to lie, I didn't get in the pool today. You can see, even though it was warm, it was a little bit chilly. So I didn't want to get in the pool and then get super cold and then have wet baggies and all that to have in the bag. But I just wanted to show you over the flow room pool, you look into the courtyard. Down below, obviously, when we walked in this morning, we came in that way. And there's just really trees, like nice trees, like a green effect. Makes you feel like you're in Miami or something. It's And then you got the pool chairs and then the cabanas in the background. It's shower time, so I just need to grab myself a towel and go and pick a shower. I normally take this one right on the end because then it's kind of like isolated and you can open the door this way. So it gives you more privacy. And then you can even have the rain shower from the top or just a normal one that you can take off and like underneath your arms and all that you need to get to. And then I just hang my stuff on the door. So that's my plan now. I wanted to end up my video in the bathroom, but there were other people there and I thought it'd be a little bit creepy to just pull out a camera and start filming. But there's one thing that is like one golden rule I just never cross and that is I always wear a pair of shoes, slops, in any shower that's not my own because I nearly died once from a bad experience so it's just I don't do that anymore. And then as I was about to get in the shower I realized shit I don't have any any slops so what I had to do is I had to go with my slippers on and my slippers were completely destroyed, couldn't take those. I do apologize for the baby crying in the background. But I want to thank you guys all so much for watching if you're still watching at this point. Let's get better together, let's grow together and let's improve a little bit by a little bit every single day together as a community. So I want to thank you guys so much for the support, thank you so much for watching. Hit that subscribe button, hit that like button and more daily vlogs on the way.